Hi there, my name's Martin from Rimmers Music and today I'm down at Yamaha who very kindly invited us down to view or preview the new CLP7 rails. Uh, so as you can see here I've got the new CLP765 Grand Piano. Uh, so let's have a listen. sounds absolutely amazing it's great to play and uh, it's, it's I can't really find the words it's brilliant it's a, it's a superb instrument so that particular sound uh, was the Yamaha CFX concert grand so if you've never heard of that before it's Yamaha's flagship concert grand they retail over a hundred thousand uh, pound what Yamaha have done there is sample that sound and put it inside the CLP so it's like having one of the world's best pianos at your fingertips uh, really really nice to play. The CFX is typically a lot more brighter sounding. Uh, now the other one on there as well which is equally important is the Bosendorfer. Now this is a contrasting piano, it's a lot more mellow sounding, the uh, Bosendorfer Imperial Grand, German brand and uh, like I say it's a contrast so I'll play the Bosendorfer for you. So there you've got it, there's two of the world's greatest pianos, the CFX Concert Grand and the Bosendorfer um, Imperial Grand as well. Now, because it's digital, there's a lot more sounds on there. Uh, so if I wanted to stick with acoustic and then just maybe look at a more specific sound, let's say, I don't know what a pop sound is all I need to do. Just press this button here, move across. And I'm gonna go for a pop grand. Okay, so I've got a much brighter sounding piano. <laughs> So that's the uh, acoustic pianos. There are, there you go. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a lot more uh, sounds in there, but uh, of course um, I've just picked three of the the, the, um, uh, the main ones. Uh, now, if you wanted to sample or, or play something completely different, so it's got that's the acoustic pianos. If we wanted to move on to the electric pianos, uh, I'll just have a quick selection of one, and it's nice and easy. The the key the electric console is so easy to use. So I'm going to sample maybe a DX electric piano sound this time. So let's say I wanted some, let's say I wanted an organ this time. Okay, so we've got a nice church organ. Okay, and then I'm going to try and play some nice strings. So 
Browns are absolutely brilliant. There's lots to choose from. Not played them all, but I've just picked out a few of the key ones. Uh, a really new feature uh, on the CLP 7 Series is a feature called Piano 40. Now, what Yamaha have done this time is they've sampled some 18th and 19th century pianos. Um, so, if you were to play something by Mozart, you could actually select a Mozart piano. So, uh, it basically sounds like the piano that Mozart would have used when he composed uh, all the pieces. Uh, so, if I just show you, and you'll hear what I mean. So this is the Mozart one. Okay, and then the other one on this model is the Chopin one. Okay, so we've got... So that's a really nice feature. So if you play anything by Chopin or, or Mozart or any other classical composers, it's going to give you a nice sounding piano that would sound a lot more like uh, the composers would have done uh, quite some time ago. Okay, so that's a really nice uh, new feature. Lots of other sounds, as I said. Uh, let's talk about some of the other features on there as well. Uh, you've got things like a built-in metronome. So if I wanted a little click, okay, and I can speed that up and slow it down as I get a bit more. Uh, confident with that. I've got uh, built-in rhythms. Now, the previous generation of CLPs also had built-in rhythms, but this time Yamaha have added a bass line on there, so the experience of uh, playing with a rhythm is transformed and almost feels like you're playing with a band. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly for you. talked a bit about the actual playing of the instrument itself so obviously the look of this is like not like the other CLPs because it's a grand piano design so that makes it uh, extra special to play of course it does look like a grand piano it's got an open and closed lid so that does actually affect the sound as well if I put the lid into a closed position you get a more muted mellow sound open the lid and that releases a big sound similar to an open and close of an acoustic piano okay the actual keys themselves so you've got a new improved action on there uh, which is um, the uh, Grand Touch S action so it's basically the best way to explain that is it just feels like a grand piano it's got a weighted fully weighted action and uh, also synthetic and ivory, ebony and ivory key tops so if you combine the two the playing experience of it is absolutely brilliant and it's very very difficult to to distinguish the difference or you know find the difference between playing an acoustic piano uh, and a, a nice electric piano with a good action as this has uh, so obviously we've talked about uh, the speakers that does um, project the sound as well with the lid and the overall experience of playing this is, is brilliant it's it really is so um, let's talk about just very very briefly underneath you've got a dual headphone socket um, so if you're like me don't like people listening to me play or practice even uh, you can pop the headphones in and obviously block out the speakers. It's really, really useful, especially if you're playing at night, if you've got young children, uh, you don't want to wake up. Now, a new feature, or not so much a new feature, but they've added um, this feature to another sample. So you can now use on Borsodorfa and CFX, a feature called binaural sampling. So binaural sampling, very, very briefly, if you think about headphones, you would normally pop them on your head and the sound would appear to come directly in, in your ears. Uh, with binaural sampling, it doesn't work like that. It sounds like the sound is coming from the piano, which is what you would expect. Uh, so it works in a very, very different way. I've got to say it's a bit strange at first, but it's so, so effective, and it does really make the experience of using headphones uh, far better. Uh, it's almost like you've not got headphones on at all. So uh, that's a really, really nice feature. Um, the actual instrument itself obviously looks great. You've got your three traditional piano pedals, so you've got your sustain pe pedal, your soft pedal, and obviously the sustenuto in the middle. Uh, when you're not using it, you've got a really nice dust cover. Okay, so this uh, protects it. Uh, the lid will actually close as well. 
so the dust cover actually protects it and obviously turns it into a really nice piece of furniture as well. Uh, this is available by the way in the polished ebony and the polished white colour, so there's two options available. Uh, and really it, it is great, so obviously what makes it different, obviously you've got your improved action, improved samples on the Borsendorf and concert ground. Uh, the really cool feature with um, the piano party, which is brilliant. Uh, and lastly, I just need to talk about the um, app. So Yamaha have produced an app called Smart Pianist, uh, which is available for both Android and Apple. And what this does, uh, it's free download by the way, so you can download it at any time, uh, connects with the piano and allows you to use some of the features that are built inside the piano. Uh, and you can use it directly from your iPad. So it doesn't necessarily make it easier, it just, you, know, you can use either or. Uh, it just puts it on the screen uh, and you can flick through. Now, one of the features that is available on here, which is really good, if you've got music on your iPad, you can actually play it through uh, the speakers. So, you know, you've got iTunes or Apple Music, whatever it is, uh, you can turn the actual piano into a really good sound system as well. I've just tried it before and it sounds absolutely brilliant. Uh, so this is the CLP uh, 765 gram piano. If you want more information, if you visit our website at riversmusic.co.uk or if you call one of the shops, and we'd be happy to tell you more about the instruments. Thanks for watching.